Hey guys, how's it going? iPod Touch Elvin here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite mods and tweaks for the iPod Touch and iPhone. These are all going to be available through Cydia, and yes, they are all going to be free. So that's the good thing. Um, guys, up here in the top left corner, if you want to watch my top 10 Cydia applications, feel free to click the little annotation up here, and click the annotation up here in the right hand corner if you guys want to watch my top 10 favorite winterboard themes videos. So. This guys, these are really good tweaks and stuff, all free. I'm not going to be showing you guys paid stuff like that, like in some other videos. I hate that because then, you know, a lot of people don't go out and get them. So I'm going to start off, no particular order, but I'm going to start off with number 10, which is going to be 5 Icon Dock. It's as simple as this. It's got 5 icons available for your dock. That's really cool. I like that. Gives you a little more space, you know. You can put all your icons that you use the most down there and stuff like that. Another cool thing that you guys might want to get, this is not in my favorites, but you guys can go check this out. It's called Five, um, it's like Five Icon Springboard. And what that allows you to do is get five icons along each row on your springboard. So that's pretty cool. Number nine is going to be Status Notifier. So if we look up here in the top right corner of my iPod, we have a little mail symbol. So that's just letting us know that I have a new message in my mail or something or I have some new inbox right it's really simple it, you also get something called reminder right there there's reminder and you can with reminder what you do is you just enable it or disable it how, whatever you guys want to do with it so number eight is going to be Siddly and what Siddly allows you to do is just simply delete your applications on your desktop that you got from Cydia. So I can delete Winterboard now from my desktop instead of having to go into Cydia and then searching Winterboard and then deleting it, which, you know, that's pretty annoying. So that's a really cool little tweak for you that uh, will save you some time. Number seven is going to be multi icon mover. And what this allows you to do is you hold down on an icon like this, you check off that maybe two icons, however many you want to check off. It's up to you. You find a blank page and you click the home button like that and it takes you to that page. It takes those icons to that page which is I think it's pretty cool because you know it saves you again it saves you a lot of time from having to you know if you guys are making lots of themes and stuff like that if you guys uh, or like certain themes need you to move icons all over the place this can save you a lot of time as well. Number six is going to be my one of my favorite tweaks. It's been one of my favorite tweaks ever since I started this jailbreaking stuff, and it's called SB Settings. I know you guys have probably all heard about it. Here it is right here. I just have a stock theme on it. What you can do is you can change your brightness. You can enable SSH, Wi-Fi, all that type of stuff. If you have an iPhone, you can turn on you know Bluetooth. Uh, you can turn on 3G, all that stuff. So that's going to be something really cool, guys. Definitely worth getting. So that was SB settings. Um, number five is going to be activator and what activator lets you do I'll show you. Um, for example if I hold down my home button and if I have music running it'll pop up this little bar thing and uh, I'll just quickly show you guys what it is in my settings application here. So you have gotta open up settings here just click settings and you click on activator and what you can do is you can activate different things. So if you want to click the home screen, you know, if you want to double tap it, you can open up a certain application or something like that. Or if you want to do a short hold, you might open up like a little music bar so you can easily change your music. Stuff like that. It's really cool. Activators are definitely worth getting. Definitely recommend it. Um, another thing that I think is really cool is called Isol Music Player. I, hopefully I said that right. I probably didn't. But it's, it's more of a theme, guys, but I, I don't know why, but I sort of see this as a tweak or a mod. So you will need Winterboard for this. What you do is you open up Music, and uh, look that look at that. We've got a cool little uh, iPod on display here, so we'll just show you this um, right here. So that's pretty cool, guys. It's just like a different music player for your iPod Touch or iPhone, and I really like it. It's one of my favorite little mods or tweaks that I think. So that you will need to activate that through Winterboard though. Number three is going to be Make It Mine. So we'll scroll over to Make It Mine. There it is right here. 
And what Make It Mine lets you do, it lets you change the text in the top left corner. As you can tell, I, mine says subscribe. And you can also change the text in the center, which is where it says 1048. So that's really cool, guys. Definitely recommend you guys go get Make It Mine. That's one word. And you guys have probably been seeing this throughout the whole video and wondering how I got it. It's number three, or sorry, it's number two. It's called Smoothboard. And it just lets you scroll through your icon sideways without it locking into each page. I do like that a lot. I think it like makes it look a little nicer, a lot smoother. It's all about like sort of the momentum and stuff like that, momentum. And number one, guys, like I said, this is in no order, um, but I know Rotate is going to be my another one of my favorite tweaks or mods. And let's check it out. So what I know Rotate lets you do, click on it right here, it allows you to enable different applications so that they don't rotate on you so for an example if I turn my iPod this way you know I don't want one of my applications to turn sideways because you know sometimes I'm lying down or something I'm watching I don't know let's say we're watching a video and uh, on YouTube or something like that and you don't actually want the video to turn sideways something like that I know rotate is the best application to stop that from happening but yeah thanks for watching guys this was my top 10 favorite mods and tweaks it's a pretty long video hopefully you guys did like this please give this video a thumbs up guys I'd really appreciate that um, let's see how many we can get how many thumbs up we can get and everybody who thumbs down feel free I mean I know you're just haters right but uh, thanks for watching guys click the link over here and or click the video on the left here if you guys missed my last video click the link on the right here to check out my other channel but thanks for watching guys I will touch helping and I'll catch you guys later peace